looks like we are almost done to displaying the uh, contents in our home page in here we just need to uh, show the te uh, show the text of users and username so in, e in here you can just go to this user and just see what the properties are in there and what we're gonna see or what we're gonna use we're gonna use this name and this username for our purpose so in back to code in here uh, first of all we're gonna create oh first of all we're gonna create a new div in here because there's also one call suggestions that we require in here and just I'm going to use it and I'm also now I'm just going to give the styling in this div so width to be 40 percent and I'm going to use the align self to be flex start because right now it's at the end that's why and also to be display flex and flex direction to be column so that's what we need in here and also giving this styling also we're gonna give the styling in here and giving the font weight to be bold and also the color to be silver and now we're gonna get go to the our user dot js in here what we need we need the name and username right okay okay we need name and username and we're gonna display it here and i'm going to use this div inside the div again i'm going to use the username in here and then name so in here you can give any tag that you want but i'm just going to use with div and in here yeah that's all what we need and back to this one in here so yeah that's all what we need yeah okay so in here what we need in here we're gonna use this just gonna give this styling in here that's called css in js so in here i'm going to give the padding to be let's say 10 pixel 0 and also the height to be 20 pixel and then again in here what we need in here what we need we need again styling styling font size to be you can say 2.5 rem let's see what happens okay 2.5 rem and uh, okay let's uh, give it here now again in here what we're gonna give we're gonna give a styling and in here what we're gonna give we're gonna give the font size to be 0.6 rem and color to be silver and i'm just gonna save it in here and also in suggestions in here we are gonna give the margin uh, bottom right i'm gonna give the margin bottom to be 10 pixel that's it what we need in here just go to our code and I'll just check it out let's see all being done test at the rate test.com oh my so it doesn't look good that's because we have to give this spread to be lesser size 
so I'm just gonna give it and just I'm going to check it from here so just check it here okay so I'm just gonna give this size what yeah it's look good so 1.5 rdm is good so I'm just gonna get into user.js 1.5 rdm and we also don't need the f uh, full width in here so we are just gonna give full width to be main content now it's there now if I just go in there in here you can see or uh, you can learn how to do the CSS in JS so that's why I'm doing this now this looks good right yeah it's look good also we're gonna give some padding in here right now back to code number sorry in suggestion we're gonna give the div some margin left margin left to be you can say 10 pixel and just go to your code oh my what's happened okay it's good they said the rate test dot com yeah that's it so we have done the part what we need in here in the next video we're gonna see the dynamic part that whenever we click on this spread it will be linked into some other url and the name of the username will be there so we're gonna see this that part in the next video so that's all thanks